Okay, the uh, first uh, platform for the Eindhoven station is starting to take shape. Some features on it. And even some lighting. Here we go. Close look. Lights. Station name, entry and exit stairs, some seats, a coke dispenser, train schedule, telephone box. Yeah, they still had those things back in the 1970s when the layout was in place. Telephone boxes, kiosk, lights. Let's have a look what that looks like in the evening. Let's say it's dusk. Old signal box, probably not used anymore these days. Maybe I should finish this video with a train passing by. I think we'll do that. Okay, hold on. Hello all, <clears throat> this is a short segment on uh, replacing the uh, net car auto stamping and assembly plant onto the layout. I've uh, added a flat floor section area so it's all nice and uh, flat. I'll build up the scenery around it once it's in place. But it's such a big structure, and I get this working and get the roof can come off. Effort here is now to uh, drill some holes for the lighting wires, wires for the lights, and I'm going to be. Uh, feeding the wires up from underneath with a connector so these will attach to a connector above the baseboard so that I can easily unconnect the lighting wires and, and lift the structure off. It's such a large structure I want to be able to uh, remove it at all times to be able to get behind it there perhaps finish off any work on the stationary here or around. But I don't want it permanently in place because it's uh, so big. So now we'll add the, uh, the spur rails inside. Rails. That's into the mark one. Like that. So. What a rack. So. We can have the uh, coil steel scrap bottle is going into the plant like that. Kidoki. I've got an uncoupler here. Because the locomotives won't be allowed in the plant anyway, so I might as well just add an uncoupler here, make make life a little easier. Okay, 
you know, this was just a test fit, make sure that the base was nice and flat and painted. Now I can do all the scenery work around the edges, so the roads, parking spot for the produced cars, etc. Front area, nice lawn for the for the head office uh, entry point, loading bays, etc. And here the uh, water rack uh, rails for the produced cars. So that's uh, roughly as it'll as we go on the uh, on the layout. Okay. <clears throat> oh, we're just in time to see the first ever shipment go into the uh, newly built uh, water plant. And there we have it, all ready to go. So, and let the car production begin. <laughs> you know, a couple of updates here and there. If you look inside the steel works on the car, and here we got some uh, steel coils. To represent the output of the, uh, the steel mill. Cars over to the uh, power plant, and ta da! The power plant is now attached to the grid via a substation. <laughs> so, electricity it's producing can actually be uh, go somewhere. <laughs> so that's a, an update there. So, an update of the mine area. Somebody's put some uh, graffiti there on the wall. And the mine area now has a general layer of soot, coal dust, as you would expect to find in a coal mining area. As we pan across to the lit platform area here and yep, the order plan again.